Let's check out the new tube video. The only thing I know about Kick is when Tinder was first becoming a thing, there was a ton of Kick bots where you'd match with them. And the first thing I do is like, hey, you want to see me spread my pussy? Check me out on Kick. But obviously everyone knows that it's a scam and a bot. So I never knew anyone that actually went to it. And that's all I know about Kick. So from what I understand, it's supposed to just be like a messenger app, right? So is it like WhatsApp? Do we have any like Kick enthusiasts in here? It's for grooming and catfishing. Seems like a pretty risky business model. Like officially, that's that's what they target. Man, no one has anything nice to say about Kick. Why does it exist? <laughs> what the fuck? This is all horrible. This all sounds miserable. Jesus Christ. All right. Well, I guess we'll just check this out then. It's like a full-blown movie here from two unfriended on Hey guys, kick. welcome back to another video. My name is Tub, and today we will be talking about one of the worst apps I've gotten to know, which is Kick Messenger. It's actually an extremely old app, but we're going to get to that later in the video. Right now, I, do I don't want to explain time. my absence. Sorry, Tub. Why was I gone for like two weeks? As you guys know, I did drop my first ever song, Cherry Soda. True. And I want to say thank you guys so much for all the support on that. I know hyperpop is like a very small genre and very hard to get into, but I'm so happy that it was overwhelmingly positive and we actually hit 100,000 thousand streams on spotify like spotify is not hey, even my tough. platform and you guys went there for me so just thank you guys so much for liking chair soda oh yeah by the way my vocal preset is available now for sale if you want to sound just like i did in cherry soda well now you can no it's i, guess I don't know shit about kick, right man. into fl right. studio and this is perfect if you're just starting to make music specifically hyper pop but any type of music so yeah make sure to go check out the video over on gunner's channel whenever you have time so yeah we're finally back on the morbid video grind new video every week just like always and if you guys want to watch my videos earlier than everyone else make sure to subscribe to the patreon with that being said let's actually start talking about kick messenger and why i'm making an entire video about it you lay it out for me i don't know so shit i don't about know it. about y'all but kick messenger ran my middle school in 2013 yep. to 2016 if you thought a girl was cute your first word should have been hey what's your kick or add me on kick man Keep what the mind. fuck this was before snapchat streaks before instagram dms vine was peak comedy at this time yes king batch vines kick interactive was founded in 2009 by a group of students from the university of Waterloo in Canada, who wish to create new technologies for use on mobile smartphones. Kick Messenger was created on October 19, 2010, and, and it was, and still is, a mobile messaging app available on the App Store and Google Play Store. In September 2019, Kick CEO and founder Ted Livingston announced in a blog post that Kick Messenger hey, would be shut down with over 100 employees being laid off. However, this decision was later reversed, and it was that same month Media Lab acquired Kick. Like I was saying, Kick was, it was so goaded back in the day, but nowadays, if you talk to any about kick I don't First of all, know. they're gonna laugh at you but also when, kick... when was kick founded was it like just after my time because i i never heard of kick until tinder because of scams oh did he say 2010 i didn't even hear that sorry i guess i got too hyper focused on it it's using blockchain technology in 2017 innovative when can we get the kick nfts but what about yik yak do we have any old Yik Yak fans? Yik Yak ran my campus for like two semesters or two years probably before it got banned. Yik Yak was like a like a local chat app. So uh, at my college, everyone would go on there and just post house party addresses. Or sometimes girls would just post uh, like pictures of themselves. And No, actually, that wasn't Yik Yak. Yik Yak, they would post like house party addresses and shit and just like say generally mean things about each other on there because it was like anonymous messaging back and forth. Where did the- you couldn't share pictures on it, could you? Am I misremembering it? I think it was only text. Yeah, it was just text, right? Okay, thought so. Okay. I remember there was a Snapchat page where girls used to literally just post vi videos of themselves having sex. It was like a trend for like a semester before they completely banned the Snapchat account. I guess I conflated the it two, but Yik Yak was big back known then. to be the main grooming app. Besides Discord, of course. Discord is so mainstream. But the thing with Kick is that it's not mainstream at all. No one uses it. So, all these people and abusers go under the radar. Because, again, no one gives a fuck about the app. And as the years have gone by, the problem has only gotten worse. I mean, let's look at the app setup, for example. Opening the app, it seems like a literal porn site. You get a bunch of ads for, quote, lives. Nice. Which the thumbnails are just people in uh, suggestive positions or with very large 
personalities. It's not that different from other chatting services. Add your friends by usernames and that's really it. Kick has a public group chat search functionality that allows you to enser keywords in oh, order just to find random to groups? talk about with others. If you guys are seeing footage in the background, it's going to be from my iPhone Holy and shit. also from an Android emulator I have on my computer and that's called Bluestacks. So now that I give you guys, you know, a little introduction about the app, let's get into the worst part of it. The horrors. The horrors, guys, not not the horrors. The horrors. So just like the Discord video, we spoke about hey, the hey, dangers of a specific both? app. It ranged from groomers to doxers. However, like I was saying, this app is not mainstream anymore. Since this app is so under the radar, this is abuser's favorite app. Again, excluding Discord. I feel like Discord is really big on this, and we did Thanks talk about that in that video. Think about it. Who's going to get caught more? Someone that There's uses Discord or someone that uses fucking kick, right? So you know how I was saying that you could put a certain key tag and find people that are also interested in that. Well, Kick actually has its own list of pre-written tags. Very cool, right? So as you can see, we have like Fortnite, for example. We have Let's Naruto. Let's go to the Naruto you know, one. Just things kids like. But if you click any of those topics, by the way, this is right when you download the app, they're all overrun by sex and <laughs> porn group chats. People bypass this by using no, this is, the host word at the this beginning is and simply adding filler to the rest. Joining them will cause a bunch of sex bots to message you and send you scam links. Some keywords such as child or anything inappropriate will result in nothing. Kick blacklisted those this words. This is exactly so what I thought like Kick uh, was. Protecting the kids, right? <laughs> No, no, let, let's keep talking. I needed some help on my research on the Kick app. So I actually went on Reddit and was looking up, you know, a bunch of s subreddits about Kick. Well, first of all, There's most of them are NSFW, which already gives you a bad look on the app. But I was able to find one where you just find regular group chats to talk about similar topics. And I came across this person that has been using Kick for years, Why? right? A Kick veteran. <laughs> and they told me that a popular method of users use on this app is by looking up sad or depression group chats and will prey on children that are looking for someone to talk to, aka a shoulder to lean what on. The you fuck? can apply that to any case, what? but I just didn't know. I don't know, man. If I didn't know that, I feel like other people don't know that, and I just want to make you guys aware of that. That's a method abusers will use. These abusers will look up depression chat or LGBT chat simply to prey on vulnerable minors. And this is a huge problem on the app. There are articles and articles. The big on problem is anyone downloading day, the app, no it sounds like. Put into place. Moderation, sounds like just downloading the app should that? flag also the heard FBI. Talks about CP and gore trades going on in the app, but of course, I'm not going to go out of my way to research that. Just like the Discord video, I mentioned that it exists. So again, I keep comparing this app to Discord because if you think about it, there's already a lot of shady shit that goes on on Discord True. that isn't talked about and imagine something that isn't even mainstream Rest there's also peace, a live Marcus. functionality and that is something completely new to me i had no idea discord had a live section like what back in 2013 it was just a texting app that was it the most damage Major you could do is disco, make your name tier one. like your name and then is typing Ains, to trick people Ains? into thinking that you're typing that, that. Too, yeah, the live section is extremely sexual and revolves around girls getting money from simps or guys too. I even joined and asked if you can make a living on the app like one would on Twitch. Um, How does the donating system work? What is the... Is so talking? that is donate. if you would like to donate and tip your streamer guy, you hit that gift box All at right. the bottom. And then you buy credits and you send whatever gifts you like, preferably the wheels. The wheels, it's hard to know what they are, but they like spin like this and they're mystery wheels. It says mystery. Mm -hmm. And then you can hit a bonus. Oh. Nice. <laughs> Let's go. Because he's like, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Let's I don't see what get you it. Can say. you dig in and Tough. tell me a little more? Come on. More. Oop, there it goes. <laughs> she saw me in the movie. Sarah and I saw each other talk. Give her the, yeah, yeah like, give her the dragon. Changing into our panties and bras. Can people make living off of going live on kick? Sure, guy, if you're cool enough. If you suck, <laughs> then no. Right. Rosie, <laughs> hello. <laughs> if you suck, then no. <laughs> I mean, maybe Sarah. if you suck, you can. Sarah. You know what I mean. <laughs> the live section is definitely not for kids. I mean, the hey, what are you talking about? That was good. That was it high quality like stuff. So now let's head on over to Kick's contradictions. The worst thing about the app Fuck is that it, I'm signing up. Demographic. From uh, everything that looks I've like great live streams. You, you'd expect this to be an 18 plus sex app, right? No. The minimum age to use Kick is 13 years old. And this is a document taken from their website kick.com want to know the name of the document kicks guide for parents yes it's like dude whoever the team is behind kick Andrew right now boy. you know that kids are on this app and so why would you make it that when you open the app and you just create your account it looks like a sex app the screenshots i'm showing you i had just made that account about one minute prior i'm using a fresh new account this isn't like, like an old account that has walks. an algorithm like tiktok that shows things to your liking no fresh new account 
fresh email. It's so irresponsible and gross. And the fucking group chat topics being overrun by sex chats and the sex bots that DM you. When I had just made my account, I did not join any group chats. I just made it and let it sit there for like two hours. I already had two sex bots DMing me. Hey, Again, nice. I didn't, there was no algorithm to that. No, I you just, just made my account. Just I'm pretty sure you guys can make an account right now and sex me? bots will DM you. Go try it out if you don't believe me. Oh and remember, gosh. 13 plus, right? How old does my teen need to be to use Kick? Teens between 13 and 18 years old need to have permission from their parent or legal guardian before they create a Kick account and start using Kick. Your teen will be asked to enter their birthday when they create their account. Oh, if the birthday proof. entered is for someone younger than 13, the account won't be registered. Y'all act like every kid that is gonna download Kick is gonna ask their mom if they can download Kick. No one asks their fucking parents, bro. And if they like choose to respond, like Kick, if you choose to respond to how horrible your app is that's probably going to be their excuse they're probably going to be like well actually we always tell the kids to get their parents to give them permission first it's like no to be fuck? fair the fact that they have a to and not to defend kick it is absolutely a parent's responsibility to monitor what their kids download and engage on in the internet i am so tired of companies or not companies parents blaming companies the parents have a fucking responsibility to actually be a parent. It's not up to the internet to raise the kids. Now, this obviously shouldn't be accessible to kids in the first place. Like, this is just like a dog shit degenerate app. But I'm speaking on the whole. Fucking parents don't do shit anymore and blame everyone but themselves when like, Oh my god, my kid was... He, he, le he left YouTube Kids app and instead of getting Finger Family, he watched a... I don't know, Ludwig talk about why he's not his friend and now all of a sudden my kid's crying and I'm fucking pissed at Ludwig and YouTube ruined everything. You know, it's like, do some parenting. It's, it's It makes me so frustrated. That is one of like my biggest pet peeves. It's been like that for the last like three years, I'd say. It's gotten really bad, especially on YouTube where they keep having to like pressure YouTube like YouTube fucking hates kids. Yeah, YouTube ruins kids' lives. When it's like, you just let your kids go on YouTube completely unmonitored. And then they found a, a Nexpo video on a morbid topic or something. Like, it's your fault. You suck. Like, face it. Guide for Parents alludes to the fact that they know kids are on the app. But... I gave them the benefit of the doubt. This document was made in 2017, so I looked for the most recent version of it. Maybe the rules had changed, and I actually did find a more updated version. This is from March of 2021, and guess what? It's deleted. Yeah, like come on creators, you have to be more responsible about this. Another contradiction is uh, their App Store and Google Play Store ratings. And I'm not talking about the five star ratings, I'm talking about Jugs. the rating that they give their own app, you know, the age rating, right? On the App Store, they are rated 17 plus, which by the way, is still a minor in most states. And on the Google Play Store, they are rated T14, which literally means 13 <laughs> plus. I checked the Google Play Store website about the ratings. It's not like a yes, game. 13 plus. I honestly just don't Why like is the it fact rated that they like don't game? try to hide that they're app is just a sex bot that's probably how they make all their money now from simps spending all their life savings on the girls on kick live look kick team if you see this video or if people are outraged by this or some shit either remove all the sexual content from the app clean up the hashtags and sex bots or simply make the app 18 plus everywhere true it should just be an 18 plus app kick. like no this That'd is a sex it. app it is clearly a sex app and if you don't want to admit that well then clean it up with better moderation how is it that when you make a kick account and you just leave it sitting you get sex bots dming you is this not a problem like i've never seen such an unmoderated app in my life that is available to minors by the way don't try to sue me because all the information i'm getting is from using your app and looking at your ratings that, that's literally it that's, I'm, I'm not like defaming you or anything this isn't defamation of character inventing. this is what you've written on your website website and how it's contradicting other shit you've made you aka signs. the entire app i just think it's horrible how if you literally go to the kick wikipedia hey, page just there, there is ago. a controversy section with three whole paragraphs talking about minors use of the kick app and explicit <clears> content <throat> like many other social media services kick has garnered negative attention due to instances of minors exchanging explicit messages and photos with adults causing law enforcement and the media to frequently express concerns about the app automated spam bots have also been used to distribute explicit images and texts over kick messenger a state law enforcement official interviewed by the new york times in february 2016 identified kick as the problem app of the moment police said they found kicks was it popular in 2016 and one detective said obtaining information from like kick was, was a bureaucratic nightmare i just can't believe that it's to the point where they have this stained on their wikipedia page and they haven't fixed it it is the year 2022 
I feel like at this point, you should at least get rid of the, the starter page with the key tags. It's like, that's the first thing you should do. That's so easy for them to do. I don't Easy-tier understand young. how they don't give a fuck. I, I, I personally think they're just making a ton of money off the fucking lives, and they don't care using the app live. So I would second- venture to guess the reason that it stays totally unmoderated is because the second they moderate it, everyone just goes to Discord. Right now, the only thing that keeps it afloat is the pure degeneracy and, I guess, illegal activity that takes place on it. So the second they can no longer conduct business on kick, they just die. Like, there's there's nothing else on there, it seems. Except for apparently the guy Tuv talked to who's a lifelong kick stan or whatever. But he's one of a dying breed. I don't think he's necessarily donating money to the kick live streamers. Or if it's, I don't even know what's money if it's money. It was like pictures of dragons and, and wheels and shit. So I'm guessing that's the only reason it stays that way. I just want to open up the app and let's go through it together. I haven't opened it up in about a few hours. Maybe it's actually open right now. Let's see. Okay, so it's connecting at the top. Okay, cool. So Popular I'm going to have to blur almost everything. First of all, it's overrun by ads and it's, it's fucking gross. Like, why? Anyway, that's not, that's not a big critique. If we go to the top where it says 11 new chats. <laughs> Look at this. Do you guys see this? No, Number I can't. 13 plus, right? I can't see it. <laughs> Just paint a picture. Is it Goatsy? Chatting with single Blue guys. Blue 21. Oh my god. You will see explicit photos. Please be discreet. What is is that an IP address? What, like, what, the what, fuck? Are, what did you just send me? And and you know it's so weird. Don't that they click use it. The same profile picture. Like poor woman who's being used. Like what is this, bro? Is there a secret ring being going on going on on Kick? Probably. Let's oh, it's not a secret. There probably is a secret ring going on on Kick. Bro, they just sent you the IP to it. It's not a secret. L- guys, look at look at the ads. Look at the ads on this 13 plus app. I can't make this shit up. It's like we're in an episode of South Park. Like, what the fuck? So the thing is, with this account that I'm using on my phone, I'm actually soft banned, which means I can't really enter lives. And I don't think I could actually uh, enter any new group chats. So if we go to public groups, Why? What I don't happened? Think it's going to load in. Oh, actually, never mind. Uh, yeah, look at that. K-pop. Prime look at all the K-pop and groups Dampa. that are just uh, sex chats for grown men or grown grown adults, I should say. I shouldn't just single out men. But, dude, I mean, Thanks literally, Baca. think about it. A kid downloads this app, right? Ooh, Pokemon. Let's go to Pokemon. There are nudes right there. There are nudes right hey, there on the app, right? It's horrible. How cool is that, that right? A guide for the you parents, get Pokemon their right mind and tits. And again, there are tons of stories about kids getting groomed on this specific app. And it seems like no one gives a fuck about it. Again, it's because it's not famous anymore. No one turns their head to this. Like in the Discord video, yeah, I can't I believe told Kick's you guys still alive. Leave your stories down below if you feel comfortable, and you guys did. And it seemed like you guys were really helping each other out in the comment section. It's so if you guys do feel comfortable, the leave your stories ball. about using Kick down below or any app for that matter. I just want to let you guys know that this is a nice community where you guys can communicate with each other. If you guys want to join the Discord and talk to each other in voice chat or in the general chat, make sure to join it. It's just discord.gg slash tub. I mean, not everything is bad in on kick. Some group chats actually do help people. Like I was saying, there are depression chats where people do help each other, but it's like such a gem to just find go a somewhere group else. chat with humans. Why stay on kick? Decent just humans. go to Discord. There's no point in downloading the app or depending on Fucking the app. Fucking Skype. I don't know, man. Why this, stay there? Please fix your app. Please fix the ratings. Do something about it. But yeah, that's it for this video. Well, that was interesting. I can't believe Kick Messenger is still alive. I really can't. That's pretty nuts to me.